My name is Ellen Terry and I'm a program director at Humanities Washington. We started the Talking Service program um, in Washington State. Um, this is a program that was developed by the New York State Humanities Council and the Great Books Foundation. So we thought this was a wonderful way to help connect with veterans um, in our communities. I have to say this was a real learning experience for me. We had not before done a program specifically directed um, for, for veterans. And so, um, like I said, it was a real learning experience to do outreach to community colleges around the state and talk to them about um, their veteran centers. And I have to say that really ranged widely. Um, from everything uh, from a really you know comprehensive centers and programs that were staffed to other situations where maybe it's someone's old sofa in a hallway and maybe it's students um, or a work study position where people are kind of cycling in and out and so um, I really think that this program was important because it was very different than what was being offered on campuses. I would say definitely the more recent um, entries, the poetry, um, the journal entries, the essays um, by men and women who have more recently served, um, definitely I would say struck a chord. Um, one of the sessions I attended, um, they were you know, the participants were asked, you know, which 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 um, essay did you most you know relate to? And um, it was very poignant because one of the participants said that um, one of the stories really talks about. Um, the perspective of a mother having her child go off to serve and he said that that was the first time he'd ever thought about his mother and how she felt. Um, he had enlisted right after 9-11 and he was really excited and very proud about the whole thing and um, this was the first time he could kind of see his mother's perspective, how she had concerns and fear that she was really proud of him but this was her child and she was really nervous about that. So. Um, so that was great that here's an opportunity to see something from another person's perspective. I wasn't there at the, at the session, but I heard from our facilitators about, um, I guess, a really, a really poignant session where one of the participants broke down and was crying and was very upset because he felt like he doesn't deserve to be called a veteran because he hadn't seen um, combat like the rest of his group had. And so it gave him an opportunity to talk about um, kind of those fears, and he had no one else to, to share that with. And that is something I heard from other participants, that um, one young man in particular, he'd been out for two years, and this is the first time he had an opportunity to talk about his combat experience. He said, I can't talk to my girlfriend about this. I can't talk to my parents about this. So um, really providing that community, that safe space, um, I think was so beneficial. So that's something I really liked about the program.